and I ask, who's ready to see me jump? And invariably, people will raise their hands, wow, you guys really want to see me get hurt, don't you? But that's when I drop the bomb and say, look, the real purpose of this exercise is not for me to jump off the ladder and try and do something that obviously I can't do with the power of positivity alone. It's to show the difference between wishful thinking and positive thinking. My volunteer was... Love that. The power of possibility and unlocking your greatness. Our next guest uses stories of the outdoors to spark the conversation and cultivate a greater sense of belonging. Award-winning motivational speaker, high-performance coach, and author, Ari Gunsberg, is here to talk about what is truly possible in our lives. And I spent some time with him hiking in the woods yesterday. Good to see <laughs> yes. you again. Good to see you again. All right, so we had a really good conversation yesterday. Tell our viewers what you mean by the power of possibility. Well, there's so much that's possible within our lives that we could take advantage of, but a lot of times we're not able to because we have these own internal blockages or sometimes external blockages that are stopping us from fully harnessing our own potential. Okay, so you and I took this walk yesterday. I think we, we actually have some video. You found a beautiful spot for it. Uh, what, like, did you learn things about me while we were walking, and how does nature and walking fit into the power of possibility? Well, so I did learn a few things about you. You're a Midwest girl. You grew up in broadcast media, <laughs> and as talking about the power of possibility, uh, you know, you want people to see that you're more than just a journalist, that you have these other skills within yourself as well. And so sometimes, like I was saying, we, sometimes we have internal blockages and sometimes we have external blockages. So that would be a little bit more of an external one. People have this frame of you that is a journalist mm -hmm. and so, you know, trying to jump out of that box and stuff. Okay, so why did you want to go hike in the woods? How does the outdoors help us achieve more? Well, the outdoors is incredibly healing. I, I've never gone outside, gone hiking or anything like that, and found it to be, gotten finished with it and felt worse, right? You always mm -hmm. feel better. It gives you time for introspection. It gives you time to think about what's going on in your life. It gives you time to adjust to things that are happening and to, to kind of like frame them in your brain. And if you look, there's studies that are coming out nonstop nowadays that show the true power of healing that the outdoors gives us. Uh, you know, talking about adversity, which I think we're going to mention soon and everything, well, I wanted to ask you, you, you talked to me about growth through adversity. We both agree that you can grow a lot through adversity. So tell me about that. Absolutely. So adversity, I, I'm an alumnus of the Hurricane Island Outward Bound School. This was a school where they t purposely put us through tremendously challenging situations. And these were situations... Uh, we, they put us on a 30-foot boat. The bathroom was a bucket at the front of the boat. It was fascinating, right? And, and these situations basically put us into places where we were really, really challenged. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we were able to find that we had so much more strength within ourselves because we said, oh, like we went through this situation and we got through to the other side and we found that we are able to do. There's a quote by the founder of Outward Bound, um, Kurt Hahn, who says, there's more to us than we know. If we can be made to see Love it. Love that perhaps for the rest of our lives. We'll be unwilling to settle for anything less. Love that. Okay, so what are, when you're working with people, what are the most common obstacles you see or what are some of them in people achieving their goals and how do you help them overcome the obstacles? Well, so there's, as we were saying before, there are internal obstacles and external obstacles. And we often don't necessarily see what is stopping us from achieving our own greatness, right? So when you're working with a coach or you're working mm -hmm. with somebody like myself, these people will ask pointed questions that as you're going through the questions, like, oh, wait, here's something that I never realized. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to tell me that. I'm, I'm big on working with a coach. I mean, I think it's just invaluable. Why do you have that piece of wood sitting there next to you? Well, that piece of wood is a demonstration that I use often for tenacity or persistence and also can kind of give us a good... Uh, visual representation of this whole idea of working through your own obstacles and everything. You know, and, and, and you want, you, you yeah. want to do that now? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> show, me, show me your stuff here. Oh, well, if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> so the board, it just represents a typical obstacle and everything. So if we aim at the obstacle, nothing's going to happen when we hurt our hand. But if we aim through the obstacle, we'll get through it every single time. This is an old trick from karate from way back in the day. A little loud. <laughs> <laughs>
And the point is you aim through the obstacle. You go through it for the other side, right? Massively overpower it. Absolutely. Massively overpower. Okay, you wrote The Little Book of Greatness. Tell me about that. You wrote it during COVID. I did. I wrote it and published it during COVID. It is a an award-winning book. It is a parable. It tells a short story. It's a few hours long for the average reader. It tells a short story about a gentleman who is going through a lot of challenges through his life and he learns about the five keys to greatness during these challenges. You have achieved a lot for your young years. So congratulations and uh, it was been, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Absolutely, you as well. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on. All right, thank you. All right, uh, and if you wanna find out more about what happens when you challenge yourself to achieve everything you can, and if you wanna get Ari's book about how to stay motivated, call 234-218-GUNS, G-U-N-Z, or 234 -218 218-4869, or you can visit his website. It's ariguns.com. You can also follow him on social media.